So what I'm going to do now is install the new oil pan for the transmission. Uh, I got this one from Amazon. It's for the uh, R700R4. Um, but as I said before, one of the bolts was spinning. Um, it was not a problem with the bolt, but with the mounting hole. So the other side where this goes into the transmission, one of the previous owners was uh, kind enough to uh, probably uh, over torque it. Um, and yeah, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. So what I'm going to do now is, so I'm going to climb under the truck and start repairing this. I bought this set, a thread repair kit uh, for M8, because this is M8 uh, by 125. So now underneath, well, next to the truck, uh, on my creeper, which is really convenient. Um, as you can see, I already drained the transmission. Uh, it's this one. So this thing is actually where you put your uh, washing machine into. So if you have a spillage or a leakage or whatever with your washing machine, the water will go into this one. Uh, I saw it at the local uh, hardware store. Uh, it's really nice because it's big enough to catch all the uh, oil which is leaking out when you're working on, uh, on the transmission. So we'll move this out of the way and then we can start uh, doing the magic with the uh, mounting holes for the pan. Uh, now underneath the truck, it actually still looks pretty good underneath here. Now just removing some excess uh, ATF. Uh, who doesn't know the smell of ATF? It's not the best smelling stuff. Unfortunately, it's also not the worst. Uh, so this will give a nice smoke show next time I start it up. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's all part of the experience, right? I also have to remove uh, this blue stuff. It's old gasket stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn, something is still dripping. Oh, it's from the filter. Okay. Um, yep. That one which is stripped doesn't look that good. Uh, no, sorry, it's this one. Yeah, you can clearly see that it's not that sharp edged as uh, as that one is. So yeah, that looks uh, a lot better. Um, now I've got it drilled out and re-threaded. Um, so let's put in the repair thread or helicoil or whatever you want to call it. All right, I got the thread repair thing in. Um, there you can see it. So what I ended up doing was by using the supply tool, you just drive it in. I had to enlarge the opening of the hole a little bit with a 10 millimeter uh, drill because it was starting to cross thread. Uh, that sucks, of course. So now there's that little thing at the top you need to break off and then i'll take the bolt and then hopefully yeah hey awesome okay what do we have here new transmission pan or i just call it a transmission pan with a new rubber gasket and this one comes with a drain plug. So I found this little neodymium magnet. I hope I pronounced that correctly. By the way, in Dutch, magnet is magneet. So I stuck it on to the drain plug. I think it's there quite well. Uh, just apply some uh, super glue to stick it on there. And uh, then we are able to install the uh, gasket put it into the uh, hole and go from there that's interesting due to the magnet it wants to stick to the pan so i 
no idea actually how much I need to torque this down. For now, I'll just, as always, hand tighten. Okay, mine is a 91, but it's pretty much the same as an 88. So I was lucky enough to find one of the service manuals, the official real service manuals from GM. In this case, an 88. And if I take a look at the automatic transmission chapter or hoofdstuk in Dutch, then we can see that it's recommended to use Hextron 2 or equivalent as um, ATF and it has a whopping 10.9 or was it 23 quarts I think they call it in the States for the 700 R4 so in my case I dropped the pan so I assume I just have to refill about 2.7 liters we're going to find out how much torque it requires to mount the pan up to the transmission again new seal new filter oil pan screws tighten here we go 20 newton meter and then new fluids okay mm well that's quite straightforward let's dig in due to this stupid thing here the cross member you cannot just insert the uh, pen straight away. You need to wiggle it in and then it just fits. So I don't know why they designed it this way. It's just weird. So let me put the uh, gasket on and mount it up. Let's see how this goes. Okay, let me try that first. Just stick. Fucker! I'll just stick all the bolts through first and then install it. Okay. Apparently, this is the way to do. Yeah, I'm not using the creeper now, because it gives me a little bit more room. But the creeper is really nice, but it also limits you a little bit. In height. So. Yes. More light. Now let's see if we can tighten this uniformly. It didn't say in the manual that you need to cross like you do on uh, on your wheels you have to start with one then the opposite and then the opposite and the opposite and uh, I'm gonna slowly work my way up you don't want this to warp and actually especially I don't want this to warp 
So I have to need, need to order a new one somewhere in the United States of America. That's a tricky one. That's the one I just repaired. So I don't want to put extra force on it just yet. Well, not at all, of course, but especially not now. I want to tighten that one as the very last one. And make sure that the gasket stays uniform. Because I saw that on when I took the other pan off. The gasket was kind of warped. didn't look good it's probably also the reason why it was leaking see bulging of the gasket hey that was the first clicker yes we're getting there yep done is going to be interesting so old ATF container let's put it in So that was uh, 5 liters of ATF2, that stuff, um, probably have to fill up a little bit more, so I will uh, get another container, probably about 1 liter, um, then put the dipstick in, uh, let it cycle for a bit, but then first have to get the truck out and let the engine run, um, and then uh, hopefully it uh, is topped off. And then of course the big question is, will the replacement of the pan and the seal actually seal the transmission? So fingers crossed, I hope it does. Um, and if not, then probably have to do the same exercise again. Um, but that will be another video then. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you want to, subscribe if you like to. And um, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Toodaloo.